How much battery are you saving on Wi-Fi compared to mobile data? Well, let's find out with this extreme battery drain test between the Galaxy S24 Ultra, iPhone 15 Pro Max, and the Pixel 8 Pro. Now we've already debunked the myth of QHD versus FHD and also 120 Hertz versus 60 Hertz in our controlled battery drain test. So you can check out those previous tests below in the description. It's now time for Wi-Fi versus mobile data. This is the one we've been waiting for to really see how much extra battery do we get when using these flagship devices on Wi-Fi. Now, in terms of the setup, starting with the display settings, for the Android devices, we are pretty much setting them to their out-of-box display experience at 1080p, 120 hertz, adapt to refresh rate for the Galaxy S24 Ultra and the Pixel 8 Pro. Of course, with the iPhone, you can't change the screen resolution, so it's running at the highest all the time, and it does have the 120 hertz adaptive ProMotion display active. Now when it comes to the battery settings and performance profile, anything that prevents the maximum performance that we're going to get on the battery for the Galaxy S24 Ultra under the power saving has been disabled so we get the best performance all the way through and also the performance profile is left in its standard performance mode. For the Pixel 8 Pro, any form of adaptive battery or adaptive charging, anything that will slow the battery down, we have disabled it to make sure that we do get the best performance when it comes to the battery all the way through and of course in terms of the battery health on the iPhone 15 Pro Max, this is of course at 100%. So this should all be set for these devices. At the time when doing this recording for this battery drain test, all these devices were on their latest software versions as well. In terms of display brightness calibration, I have disabled any form of automatic brightness on all of these devices, any form of adaptive brightness or true tone or adaptive tone display technology. It's all been disabled. And what I've tried to do is calibrate it to 200 nits as close as possible on all these devices to make sure that the brightness is as fair across the board. With that out of the way, Let's get into this battery drain test. Let's start things off with this extreme battery drain test between the Galaxy S24 Ultra, iPhone 15 Pro Max, and Pixel 8 Pro. Wi-Fi versus mobile data. Oh my goodness, we are gonna be replicating this against our original mobile data test with Wi-Fi. And let me tell you, this, I promise you, will be the most shocking battery drain test variants that we've done yet. Because even me, I'm still to boggled at the results that came out of this one. But you know what, let's get into it. And of course, the first app we're gonna be running through is TikTok. And as I always say, TikTok is like the wicked wild west. And if you wanna follow us there for your vertical and short form content as extras, then definitely do. It's lover of tech BA. That's our TikTok right there. So half an hour, we're gonna be looking at each one, pretty much reading it off in terms of the temperature reading, battery and the percentage lost at each stage. And it's, it's gonna be interesting. How much extra battery are we gonna be gaining if we move over to Wi-Fi compared to mobile data? Any or nothing at all. So Wi-Fi first, Galaxy S24 Ultra, and it's with the battery at 89%, temperature reading at 34.7 degrees Celsius, loss of 11% battery, iPhone 15 Pro Max, 92% battery, 33.9 degrees Celsius reading, minus 8% battery loss. Pixel 8 Pro is 91%, 33.9 degrees Celsius, and it's 9% battery loss. And the Galaxy S24 Ultra now looking at the mobile data, battery is 87%, 36.0 degrees Celsius, 13% battery loss iPhone 15 Pro Max on mobile data, 91% battery, 35.6 degrees Celsius, minus 9% battery loss, and the Pixel 8 Pro, 90% battery, 36.2 degrees Celsius, and a loss of 10% battery. So we're seeing that, not much difference. You're gaining an extra 2% on the Galaxy S24 Ultra, an extra 1% on the iPhone, and an extra 1% on the Pixel 8 Pro. So it could be in a margin of error. Our thing's gonna be different when we move over to the second application, which is Instagram and Instagram. I've always said it. This is the place where I keep up with my friends and family the most. How? Through memes. <laughs> this is how we know we're okay. We're just sending memes to each other on DMs. One of my favorite consumable social media platforms right now is Instagram. So definitely, if you wanna follow us there for extra content and a lot of behind the scenes when it comes to stories, definitely, lover of tech underscore BA. You see a lot of behind the scenes of how we're producing this and you see how much work goes into it. So if you appreciate it, like, subscribe and turn the notifications here so you don't miss future videos. Right after one hour of reels on Instagram, Reading the Wi-Fi ones, we've got the Galaxy S24 Ultra, 75% battery, 35.6 degrees Celsius, minus 14% battery loss. iPhone 15 Pro Max, 78% battery, 
0.5 degrees Celsius, 14% battery loss. Pixel 8 Pro, 77% battery, 36.6 degrees Celsius, 14% battery loss. And mobile data, Galaxy S24 Ultra, 73% battery, 36.2 degrees Celsius, 14% battery loss. iPhone 15 Pro Max, is 76% battery, 37.8 degrees Celsius, 15% battery loss. And Pixel 8 Pro is 73% battery, 38.3 degrees Celsius, and 17% battery loss. So again, we're seeing that you are gaining a bit more battery on Wi-Fi. Um, more on the Pixel 8 Pro, and also what you're seeing is an extra 2% on the iPhone 15 Pro Max and 2% on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. So maybe in the slight margins of error, but it's there. Here's where the shock is going to be. Our most intensive part has always been live streaming, co-collaborative live streaming on Instagram. And again, this is something I do on a regular basis, catching up with my audience, jumping on with my other co collaborators when it comes to co-creators that do exactly what we do um and wow instagram tends to be the most intensive out of that in comes it's it's it really drains battery it basically really drains battery and in this particular situation reading at the wi-fi is 49 percent battery on the galaxy s24 ultra 46.3 degrees celsius 26 percent battery loss iphone 50 pro max has 61 percent battery and is 37.6 degrees celsius 17 percent battery loss pixel 8 pro 55 percent battery 42.9 degrees celsius 22 percent battery loss now looking at the mobile data 48 percent battery and 42.4 degrees celsius and 25 percent battery loss in the galaxy s24 ultra iphone 15 Pro Max, 54% battery, 40.9 degrees Celsius, and then you've got that as 22% battery loss and then a pixel 8 pro is at 46 percent battery 47.2 degrees celsius 27 percent battery loss my goodness look at the difference that you're getting on the iphone 15 pro max on wi-fi there's no real difference on the galaxy s24 ultra only one percent gain where's the iphone man that is gained a lot it's <laughs> my goodness that is a massive gain difference of an extra 7% battery being on Wi-Fi only with over 60% battery still there. Wow, I'm shocked. And even a Pixel 8 Pro is in its bag when it comes to it, massive difference. Now we're moving over to the one hour YouTube test where we're playing this back at 4K 60 FPS on our ultimate definitive camera comparison that we have on all three of these devices. And then when we hit the one hour mark after into the four hour mark four, this test being done, where are we in terms of the difference? And what we have with the Wi-Fi only reading, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is at 34% battery, 35.2 degrees Celsius, minus 15% battery loss. iPhone 15 Pro Max is at 47% battery, 34.2 degrees Celsius, 14% battery loss. Pixel 8 Pro is at 39% and it's 36.2 degrees Celsius and 16% battery loss. And then moving over to the mobile data, 32% battery and 35.9 degrees Celsius on the Galaxy S24 Ultra, 16% battery loss. iPhone 15 Pro Max is 37% battery, 36.5 degrees Celsius minus 17% battery loss. And a Pixel 8 Pro is 30% battery, 36.7 degrees Celsius minus 16% battery loss. And we can see an extra 9% gain on a Pixel 8 Pro for Wi-Fi only. And then we've got an extra 10% gain for Wi-Fi only on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And we're only gaining an extra 2% on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. What is going on with the Galaxy S24 Ultra? I really started second guessing myself here. And I was thinking we should be seeing bigger gains here. Hmm, this is quite worrying especially compared to the other two devices. So we're now into YouTube music, my preferred music player, because I am on YouTube premium, which does give you YouTube music included as well. And the album of choice, of course, is one of my favorite rap albums. Kanye West's breakout album, The College Dropout. And my goodness, this one was literally where I felt like I needed Kanye's workout plan because that's right, put in work. <laughs> that's what I was doing with this. I was putting in mad work. I was putting in mad work back to back. I'm doing these variances for you so you can see if there's difference so we can debunk myths or actually tell you the best way to use it. So Wi-Fi only, Galaxy S24 Ultra, 22% battery, 33.2 degrees Celsius, 12% battery loss. iPhone 15 Pro Max is 30% battery, 35.7 degrees Celsius, 17% battery loss. Pixel A Pro and Wi-Fi, 26% battery, 33.4 degrees Celsius, and there's 13% battery loss. So data, 
S24 Ultra is at 22% battery, 32.8 degrees Celsius. iPhone 15 Pro Max is at 19% battery and is 37.5 degrees Celsius, 18% battery loss, 10% battery loss on the Galaxy S24 Ultra. And the Pixel 8 Pro is on 16% battery and is 35.7 degrees Celsius and minus 14% battery loss. So again, you get an extra 10% battery on the Pixel 8 Pro on Wi-Fi. You get an extra 11% battery on Wi-Fi for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And it's exactly the same on the Galaxy S24 Ultra, whether you're using Wi-Fi or mobile data. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. Almost makes no sense. Now we're getting into the latter phases, right? Usually if you've been here, you've seen our mobile data only test. In this particular situation, we should be seeing the first device calling it quits with Twitter Spaces that's on here, simulating a joint co-hosted Twitter Spaces between these three devices. And we can see that pretty much the first device that's gonna call it quits is going to be the mobile data Pixel 8 Pro with a finishing time of five hours, 54 minutes, and 26 seconds with a finishing temperature of 38.1 degrees Celsius. And at this particular stage, guess what? The Wi-Fi only version of the Pixel 8 Pro has 16% battery. This is insane. My goodness, the gains that you get with the Pixel 8 Pro on Wi-Fi only, is it gonna go the distance? Is it going to go the distance? Oh, I'm really eager to see this one. And you can see obviously the battery readings, but the rest that you're seeing there. On Wi-Fi, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is at 16% battery. iPhone 15 Pro Max is at 23% battery. And then the Wi-Fi only of the Pixel 8 Pro is like 16% battery. Crazy. Such a marginal difference. And then moving over to mobile data, the Galaxy S24 Ultra does have 10% battery. And then you've got an iPhone 15 Pro Max, which has 8% battery. Oh my goodness. What a difference we have in this particular situation. And how are things going to play out when it comes to you? The Wi-Fi version of the Pixel 8 Pro going the absolute distance in this particular situation here. Now to the six hour mark, finishing up with Twitter spaces. What do we have when it comes to the battery readings that we have? And for the Wi-Fi only for the Galaxy S24 Ultra, we do have a reading of 15% battery, 31% point zero degrees celsius minus seven percent battery loss compared to the previous interval and then the iphone 15 pro max is at 22 percent battery 31.6 degrees celsius eight percent battery loss and then the pixel 8 pro on wi-fi is 15 percent battery 33.7 degrees celsius with 11 percent battery loss and on mobile data the galaxy s24 ultra is on nine percent battery 35.0 degrees celsius with minus 13 percent battery loss from the previous interval iphone 15 pro max on mobile data seven seven percent battery left and it's at 35.2 degrees Celsius with minus 12% battery lost at the previous interval. Wow. So is there going to be an upset where any of the Wi-Fi ones, are they going to pack in before the mobile data, before we go over to the next phase, which is the one hour recording of 4K 60 FPS video on the back camera? I don't see that it will be. I think it will be the mobile data phones that are gonna pack in first, of course, and then it's gonna be Wi-Fi. We can see a difference in the game that we're getting with Wi-Fi as we're going through. So I don't think there will be an upset when it comes to that particular situation happening. And again, if you've seen our mobile data results, then you know what's gonna be coming next, that it should pretty much be following in fifth place. After the Pixel 8 Pro for mobile data, we should be seeing the Galaxy S24 Ultra coming in with pretty much a finishing time of six hours, 17 minutes, five seconds, and with a final temperature reading of 40.1 degrees Celsius. Okay, so that we have it in fifth place. This is to be expected because the modem is working harder. It is much more extreme. Again, extreme battery drain test in our particular situation is mobile data only, right? Last 1% battery on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. And what we have here is this 
pretty much wrapping up the mobile data devices. Again, we're having a reading of 1% battery, 37.6 degrees Celsius at this particular time. How much further until we see the iPhone 15 Pro Max on mobile data packing? It has one pretty much in this particular one as the one to finish in fourth place overall, but first place for the mobile data devices. And that is with a finishing time of uh, six hours, 18 minutes and 47 seconds with a final temperature reading of 37.0 degrees Celsius. Again, if you've been on this journey with us, you pretty much know the mobile data results. We're replicating off that and matching it to you. Now, the real interest is going to be the Wi-Fi boys, as I like to call them, because all of them are still going strong at this period in time on Wi-Fi. At six hours and 19 minutes, they are all still recording in 4K 60 FPS. And this is an even better and greater result for the Pixel 8 Pro. And where are we going to be when it comes to the six hour mark? Past 20 minutes at this particular stage, right? We do have 5% battery on the Galaxy S24 Ultra, 15% battery on the iPhone 15 Pro Max is crazy, and 4% battery on the Pixel 8 Pro. Oh no, it looks like the Pixel 8 Pro is probably still gonna finish last at the six hour and 24 minute situation. Oh man. So yes, it still looks like it's gonna be the original order that we've come to know, Pixel 3rd, Galaxy S24 Ultra, second, and iPhone first. No, actually that is not the case. Oh my gosh. The Galaxy S24 Ultra packs in at six hours, 28 minutes and 47 seconds. Final temperature reading of 42.7 degrees Celsius. We have an upset people. Oh my gosh. Oh, I'm shocked. We have an upset. The Pixel 8 Pro just beat the Galaxy S24 Ultra in the 4K60 recording on Wi-Fi only. That is insane. Shout out to you, Google. Go on, Google. This is the Pixel 8 Pro's redemption story on Wi-Fi. And it actually finishes at 6 hours, 40 minutes and 55 seconds. That is a decent amount ahead of the Galaxy S24 Ultra on Wi-Fi. Final temperature reading, 41.0 degrees Celsius. Oh my goodness. We've got a second place finish for the Google Pixel 8 Pro. Can you not believe this? On Wi-Fi only. And of course, stretching it at this time, 9% battery, with a reading of 38.9 degrees Celsius on an iPhone 15 Pro Max. We've got that at six hours and 41 minutes. Is the iPhone gonna be the first phone in this newly designed extreme battery drain test that I've got going on to actually make it to the seven hour mark and beyond and actually reach the gaming test with Asphalt 9? I think we might just be in for a treat. Oh my goodness. I did tell you the shock factor that was gonna come between Wi-Fi and mobile data, and you are seeing it right now. Google just beat Samsung in our extreme battery drain test. That is crazy, I'm shocked. But the show must go on, because we must focus on what has consistently been the phone that has been so difficult to kill. The iPhone 15 Pro Max. Moving over to the seven hour mark. Where are we? Is it gonna die? Is it still gonna make it? Is it gonna make it or die? It still makes it and it's got 3% battery left. <laughs> it's just crazy. 38.9 degrees Celsius temperature read, 38.7 degrees Celsius. And it goes into the gaming test with Asphalt 9, 3% battery left. How long can you game with it in this particular state? And it does actually close in and finish at seven hours, seven minutes and 50 seconds with a final temperature reading of 40. 0.3 degrees Celsius for the iPhone 15 Pro Max on Wi-Fi. So for the finishing times in sixth place is the Pixel 8 Pro on mobile data with a time of five hours, 54 minutes and 26 seconds. Again, this is a consistent time. We're just matching it to you. We should know this to be the place. It is finishing in sixth place on mobile data. It did not make it to the 4K60 recording. It was nearer to the end of Twitter spaces. That's the time that we have with the Pixel 8 Pro. 
with mobile data active. And in fifth place is the Galaxy S24 Ultra on mobile data with a finishing time of six hours, 17 minutes and five seconds. Again, pretty much matching it and not that far behind the iPhone 15 Pro Max when it comes to mobile data and considering it does charge a lot quicker, pretty much double the speed of the iPhone. The overall battery experience of the iPhone compared to the Galaxy S24 Ultra, the S24 Ultra as a complete package with charging does really well when it comes to mobile data. And in fourth place, we have the iPhone 15 Pro Max on mobile data with a finishing time of six hours, 18 minutes and 47 seconds. Again, this is the first place finish for the mobile data boys, fourth place overall. And again, you have to really give credit to Apple's efficiency for 4,441 milliamp hour battery or 42 milliamp hour battery. Again, I do wish charging was quicker on here, but efficiency, especially when it comes to video recording and overall, it's really well done here on the iPhone 15 Pro Max. Now comes the absolute shock factor. In third place is the Galaxy S24 Ultra on Wi-Fi with a finishing time of six hours, 28 minutes and 47 seconds. Now it really looks like where it benefited from the efficiency of being on Wi-Fi was during the Twitter Spaces test, but everywhere else, they just didn't net the gain that we were expecting. And that extra benefit again from the Twitter Spaces allowed it to go longer in the 4K60 recording. So yes, you do gain a benefit and it's very app dependent, but this was something that really to boggle the mind. And I was expecting much better gains with the Galaxy S24 Ultra, being on Wi-Fi. And in second place is the Pixel 8 Pro on Wi-Fi with a finishing time of six hours, 40 minutes and 55 seconds. Now compare it to the fact that on mobile data, it finished at five hours and 54 minutes. That's almost an extra hour gain. That is impressive. That's like an extra 46 minutes by being on Wi-Fi. This is such a big one. Really, really proud of Google with this one on Wi-Fi performance for the Pixel 8 Pro. So I highly recommend it. Any chance you get with your Pixel devices, stick it on Wi-Fi, you are gonna get much better battery life. This is such an impressive win and a massive upset to beat Samsung in this particular battery drain test on Wi-Fi. And continuing with being our reigning champ of the battery drain test so far, the iPhone 15 Pro Max on Wi-Fi in first place with a finishing time of seven hours, seven minutes and 50 seconds. This is the first phone pretty much in this definitive ultimate battery extreme drain test that we've done. And has actually been able to reach seven hour mark, gone beyond it, even on the last 3% battery and actually done gaming with Asphalt 9. Wow, <laughs> you really need to be sticking this on Wi-Fi, especially if you consider things like the live streaming section. The iPhone still has 61% battery after that extreme Wi-Fi test and what we have with the live streaming on Instagram. This is impressive. I've got to give it to the iPhone for this one. I'm absolutely shocked when it comes to these results. And here is why. My first ever battery drain test was done between the Galaxy S23 Ultra, Pixel 8 Pro and the iPhone 15 Pro Max. I will reference it in the description below and it'll also be in the cards above. That particular test was done on Wi-Fi only and these devices went much longer. The iPhone went as far as eight hours and 32 minutes. The Galaxy S23 Ultra was up to like seven hours and 30 minutes. And the Pixel 8 Pro also did well at around seven hours and 15 minutes. So why were the results so skewed with this one? What I realized with that first battery drain test I did, there were no SIM cards actually inside the phone. It was a pure Wi-Fi test. I had to look at this and I realized that these phones still had active SIM cards in there with data plans still working. And although they were on Wi-Fi, maybe this is one of the reasons why the Galaxy S24 Ultra wasn't really seeing that game because somewhere in the modem was still working and stressing out. Whereas when it came to the Pixel on the iPhone, they were able to efficiently manage the modem speeds and utilize the power benefits that come with Wi-Fi. I don't know what the full answers are, 
But wow, did it shock me. And I think that's the only anomaly that I can put down that this wasn't a pure Wi-Fi test, making it much more realistic because you are not going to be taking your SIM card outside of your phone and then connect it to Wi-Fi. You're going to have your SIM card in. You're going to go on Wi-Fi when you need to and just trust it to do its thing. And it looks like the iPhone and the Pixel are really taking advantage of that. And it seems to be very app dependent when it comes to the Galaxy S24 Ultra. I still have two more requests for variation of battery drain tests. People still want to see the standard versus the light performance profile. I'll be working on that. And people are still requesting to see a dark mode versus light mode. That test might be slightly different. So bear with me how I work it out. So it's it's actually done in a way it might not be a hundred percent drain but we might do it on a six hour time limit and see the differences in using light mode versus dark mode if it's not live already then definitely go check it out if it is live in the cards above end cards as well as also in the description below but until then just be patient with me until i work these out really appreciate your support on this i do it for you lot appreciate your feedback i look at them in the comments let's get on to it were you equally as shocked as i was when it comes to mobile data versus wi-fi in this particular test let me know in the comment section below that's it for me ben from lover of tech if you enjoy videos like this you know exactly what to do hit the like button hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell so you're part of team tls the tech lover squad so you don't miss any future videos on the channel i hope you're all safe during this time i will catch you in the next one peace